Blessings and peace to you. This is SB Favor Thinking Podcast, and my name is SB Favor. How are you doing today? It is Wednesday, August 16th, 2023. Another wonderful day. Yes, it's another wonderful day. And it's another day to focus on what is good. As I always say, if you focus on what is good, then you can project something good to happen. So focus on what is good. Focus on everything that gives you joy. Focus on everything that gives you peace. Focus on everything that builds you up. Focus on everything that helps you to elevate your mind and your spirit. Focus on what is good. Because if you're sitting around focusing on things that are not beneficial to your spirit, it will drag you down. So focus on what's good. And yes, I'm excited. I'm excited because I woke up to another day. I'm excited because God is good. I'm excited because I'm focusing on what is good. (laughs) So I'm telling you, please don't sit around thinking about your problems. Don't sit around thinking about what it could have should have. Don't sit around thinking about the things that are not beneficial Think about the things that will build your mind, your soul, and your spirit. So please, I cannot say that enough. Focus on what is good. Just think about all the blessings and the good things that are in your favor today. And as you think about those things with a spirit of gratitude, Whatever is going on in your life that needs to change, it will change because your mind and your energy is focused in the place it needs to be, which is the energy and the force of faith. So focus on what is good. I had to say it like that (laughs) because I know for a fact somebody needs to hear this. Focus on what is good, please. If you are out there traveling about today, make sure you say a prayer. Make sure you keep yourself safe. Wear your mask if you need to because people are still still getting COVID. So if you feel like you need to wear your mask, don't feel like you, you you need to fit in. I know some people look at each other kind of weird sometimes when you wear your mask. Look, if you feel like you need to wear your mask in certain situations, wear it. But keep yourself safe. Use your hand sanitizer and make sure you pray. Keep your family safe. <laughs> keep your uh, keep yourself safe. Okay, do that. Yes, indeed. If you would like to give to the podcast, please give at Cash App Dollar Sign SB Favor, or you can give at Venmo at SB Favor. Once again, if you would like to give to the podcast, you can give at Cash App Dollar Sign SB Favor, or Venmo at SB Favor. Also, this episode is brought to you by Integrity Consulting and Sales LLC. Integrity Consulting and Sales is a small business that provides administrative services, graphic designs, digital marketing, and all the good stuff that you could use to help your business to grow. If you would like to contact them, you can contact them at www.icsbiz1.com which is their website or you can reach them via email at icsbiz at mail.com once again you can reach ics at www.icsbiz1.com which is their website and you can reach them by email at ICSBiz at mail.com. Thank you so much. All right. I have an inspirational quote for you today. And my inspirational quote is today, let's remember that the warmth of our hearts can ignite a flame of compassion. By caring for others, we not only brighten their day but also light up our own path with kindness, goodness, and purpose. That's a good inspirational quote, and it's something to think about because none of us knows what the next person is going through. But if you find 
a good word to say, a smile on your face, a text, an email, a phone call, that can make the difference in somebody else's life today. Because caring for the next person and taking our attention off of ourselves is better to have a better day. When we put others before ourselves, then we become less selfish because somebody is going through something today and they need you. They need you to speak life to them. They need you to smile. They need something from you. It doesn't always have to be somebody in your family. It might be someone at the grocery store. It might be someone in the office. But there is someone today that needs you. There is someone that needs your encouragement. There is someone that needs your kind words. There is someone that needs you to speak life over them. Somebody needs you to say, yes, you can make it. Somebody needs you to tell uh, 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 the next person, do well. Yes. Because when we take our eyes off of ourselves, then we can help someone else to do well. It is so important to understand that life is about purpose. Life is about the good that we exchange with one another. Having houses and cars and money and all that stuff, yes, it is, it is important to be accomplished. It is important to be educated. It is, it is important to work hard. It is important to establish or achieve whatever it is you want to achieve. But what is all of that if you don't treat people well? What is all the material stuff if you don't love anyone? What What is it worth if you don't give or if you're not generous or kind to someone? God didn't bless you to be an island to yourself so that you could just put your feet up and say, I work for all of, all of this and I don't want to help anybody. God didn't wake you up this morning so that you could just be about you. No, he woke you up this morning so that you can speak life to someone, so that you can help someone, that so that you can love someone. Helping someone doesn't always mean you have to give out some money. Helping someone could mean you give your time. Helping someone could mean you're taking time out of your day to pray for them. Helping someone could mean that you are taking the time to send a text or email or to just say something nice to someone. It is about the purpose of of you being here to make a difference in someone else in someone else's life and that is why God woke you up this morning. You didn't wake up in the wake up this morning for your car. You didn't wake up this morning for your house. <laughs> you woke up this morning because you have a purpose to give and exchange something with someone else. You didn't wake up this morning so that uh, you can look at your bank account again. And yes, there's nothing wrong with making money for the purpose of being a blessing and the purpose of being responsible. But if you're, if you're making money and you're not helping no one, if you're making money just so that you can look at it, then what is it worth? We can't take none of the material stuff with us. But... The virtue and the love and the compassion and the mercy and the goodness that you give out, that will live forever. Because even if you're not in the earth, whatever you've given, whatever you've done, whatever you said, that's going to live forever. All the good is going to live forever. Yes. All the evil, all the darkness, that's going to cease one day. Yes, yes, it is. And, and, and don't doubt that. Yes, the evil is going to cease one day. Yes. But the good, the good is going to last forever. My mother, Laverne Edwards, she taught 
me and my siblings, core values. She told us how we had to speak to one another. She told us how we had to treat one another. And there were certain things we could and could not do in her home. It doesn't mean we didn't try. Yeah, we tried. As young kids and teenagers, we tried. But the point of what I'm saying is this. She told us what we could and could not do when it came to doing what was good and what was right. And when she corrected us, she always reminded us of how would you feel if somebody treated you like that. She would remind us of Jesus. Yes, <laughs> she would remind us of Jesus. She would remind us according to her actions. It wasn't that she would tell us to look at her actions, but it was the actions and the decisions and the choices that she made that showed us that's the right thing to do. So because of the values and the, the actions and the an example that she showed us, it stayed with us all. Now, me and my siblings, we're all adults. And we talk about it all the time. We talk about the values. We talk about how to treat people. And for some reason, if we are off course, we remind each other, get back on course. Because remember what mommy said. So I'm saying this to you, listeners. Step out of yourself and think about someone else today send a text make a phone call be nice to a stranger be kind to your neighbor do something that is good do something that is positive do something to be helpful to someone else that needs you today because we don't know what the next person is going through but if you are sensitive and you're Focused, and if you are paying attention to what God is saying in your spirit, then you will do something good today. You will be kind to someone today. You will offer your help or take a moment to just encourage someone today. It is so important that we look at life through a lens of doing something that is good every single day. Like I said, education, having a job, making money, achieving goals. Yes, that's the beauty of life. Being able to work hard, being able to uh, achieve goals and, and, and live in excellence. There's nothing wrong with that. But what is all of that worth if you are not caring for people what is all of that worth if you are not taking the time to be a better person, examining yourself, to be a better mother, to be a better father, to be a better friend? What is, what is the material stuff worth? If you're walking around bitter and nasty and mean-spirited and you got hate in your heart and you hate the black person and the white person and you hate people just because of something that happened in your childhood, get healed. Get therapy. Talk to somebody. Pray for yourself. Journal about your own heart. About, about what you think and, and why you think it. To, to bring about change. But don't stay the same. Don't take this day for granted. Because tomorrow is not promised. And we should fill this day with good. By having compassion. Mercy. Goodness. And love for the next person. And that does not mean that we have to walk around trying to be perfect and trying to be something that we're not. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about being honest and genuinely real when it comes to seizing this day with goodness. Goodness with your kids. Goodness with your family. Goodness with your co-workers. I'm not talking about doing something to be accepted either. I'm not talking about doing something to appease people. I'm talking about being the best you can be in this day by caring for others. I'm going to read that inspirational quote again. 
before I conclude. Please take note of what I'm saying. Please be inspired and be encouraged to know that your life is valuable for someone else. And your purpose is about more than the money you make, the education you received, and the things that you have accomplished. Your purpose is more about what you can do to help the next person to be a better person by you first being a better person. So I'm going to read the inspirational quote again. Today, let's remember that the warmth of our hearts can ignite a flame of compassion. By caring for others, we not only brighten their day, but also light up our own path with kindness and purpose. Think about the inspirational quote. I feel right now such a fervency in my spirit. And it's a beautiful thing because I know that it is God (laughs) that is inspiring me right now. And I know that he is, he is blowing on my spirit for me to blow some inspiration and some encouragement on your spirit today. So have a good day. Don't let nothing pull you down. Stay happy. Stay encouraged. Stay determined. Stay focused. And make sure that you focus on what's good. Do not, do not focus on your problems. Focus on what's good. Because you have more to be thankful for than anything else. And you have blessings all around you. Just look around you. Look around you. You're you're able to stand up, sit down. You're able to see, hear. You have comprehension of what's happening just by listening. Yes, you have something to be thankful for. So focus on what's good today. And you have an awesome rest of the week. I will be back again with more inspirational quotes and a good topic for you to be inspired share this podcast with others and make sure like i said earlier if you would like to give give at cash app dollar sign sb favor or you can give at venmo at sb favor i appreciate you for taking the time to listen and give to SB Favorite Thinking Podcast. This podcast is solely about helping people to realize and see their own potential to be a better you. Every day we have that opportunity to be a better person every single day. So have a good rest of the week. And if you need to reach me, you can reach me at sbfavor at yahoo.com via email. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, or X, I should say. It ain't Twitter no more. (laughs) You can find me on X. You can find me on Facebook. You can find me on Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn. Yes, I am there. And YouTube. Subscribe to me wherever you listen to podcasts. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And make sure you share this podcast with others. Share, 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 share. I appreciate you listeners. And I appreciate all that you do. Those that have and already have given to the podcast. Once again, thank you for listening. And I will talk to you soon.